Hi, I'm Lucrezia with today's music news. And first up, she's a sexy Colombian songstress whose hips apparently don't lie. But there's more than meets the eye when it comes to Shakira. Today, she addresses students at the Oxford Union, the university debating society's run for over 186 years and is famous the world over. Of course, Shakira is not the first pop star to address the union. She follows in the footsteps of John Bon Jovi and, of course, the late king of pop himself, Michael Jackson. Next, 2009 will undoubtedly be seen as the year when grime well and truly went mainstream. And while Dizzy Rascal set the foundations, it was this man, Tinchi Strider, who took full advantage. With two number one singles under his belt, the self-proclaimed Prince of Grime says he's already got plans for his next album. As in like with the um, sound of the album and that, I haven't really started recording yet. I'm still like thinking process, so hopefully it'll come together, man. Meanwhile, n -Dubs have revealed their dream collaboration. Uh, Quincy Jones. Yeah. Michael Jackson yeah. producer Quincy Jones, yeah, man. And finally, it's not the end of the road for Brandon Flowers and The Killers. Well, that's according to the band's label. Bosses at Island Records have hit out at rumours the frontman's about to leave the group to pursue a solo career. They say Brandon's far too busy with The Killers, who are currently on tour in South Africa and will be on the road well into spring 2010. Ah, it's okay then. Anyway, that's it from me. More music news tomorrow.